This is not the youngest animals we have in the facility and the, um, I guess the new arrivals. Um, they're in a neuroscience facility where um, um, basically all the work invo involves some, some sort of research into how the, ma the brain works. And um, rhesus macaques are used or rhesus monkeys are used because the great similarity to um, to humans. So the brain is functions and has a similar structure to humans. Um, so the work involves uh, the majority of the work invo involves behavioral training, um, and these guys will be at the initial st stages of that training. So the first step is basic basically to get them used to us to come forward comfortable engaging and taking little treats and using raisins uh, here. Um, and things like, for example, let's asking them to respond to different targets. So I would say hold. So they already learned that. And then once they start doing behavior tasks in the lab, they will be um, a bit more familiar already with some, um, some of the training techniques. Very good, aren't you? Good boy. And we make, yeah, we take a lot of time to make sure that they're comfortable coming forward. Um, even though sometimes, especially with the cameras around, they would be a little bit nervous coming out. Um, you can see they're still keen to come forward and you know take treats and interact. So the animals are normally here for a few years, so this is like the beginning of the journey, if you like. Um, so some of the reasons why it takes so long is because we like to take it step by step, make sure that the animals are calm and um, able to engage or willing you know, to engage in some of the training or in all the training of the procedures. And it's really important that they remain calm throughout and, uh, and interested. They, they will be involved in maybe some operations, sometimes they will get implants um, so that the heads can be held still dur during some of the data recording. For example, if they do, if they engage in behavioral tasks in the MRI scanner. Um, and because they're here for so long, um, it's really important that we have ongoing assessments of their welfare obviously for, for their own welfare, um, making sure that they remain healthy, calm and stress-free, um, but also it's very important that, that they remain that way for, us, for the science. So we want to have normal animal models that, that will basically produce uh, good quality data. And the way we do that um, is basically a, a team effort. So we have a, a team of dedicated technicians um, that I work with, a, a team of veterinary um, surgeons, and obviously the research team as well. And we all work together on an ongoing basis, day to day, liaising, um, bringing, bringing up the minor concern that might have. So um, especially the researchers and the animal technicians that work with the animals day to day they will get to know the individual character of each animal, the general, the normal behavior and things like that. So they would bring up any deviations, any changes of that normality, either to me as the welfare person or to the veterinary um, surgeons. And then we're able to um, intervene as soon as possible and, and avoid things uh, getting worse.